Hey guys, CJ Ben here, and I'm ready to begin the answers of my Q&A video that I posted back in May. So without further ado, we interrupt this Q&A video to give you this important message from Trevor the Traction Engine. Hello, I'm here to talk about something that some of you YouTubers might be interested in. There is a YouTuber on YouTube called Naffer Trevor 43 who is one of TGI Ben's subscribers. He is holding a contest, and if some of you are interested in this, then you may want to go over to his channel and look for the video that says Sodor Wooden Tales Update Slash Contest. If you click on that, Naffer Trevor 43 will explain about this contest he is holding. The debt, he will show you what you need to do for the contest, and at the end of the video, it will show the deadline so if you are interested in entering not for trevor 43's contest then head over to his channel you can do it right now or wait till you're done watching this q a video but but just make sure that you head over to his channel and check out his contest video he wants lots of people to enter so please if you so if you're a fan of not for trevor 43 head over to his channel and check out his contest video if you're interested, please enter. Thank you. And now, back to your regularly scheduled Q&A video. Okay guys, let's get started. Um, I received a very, a fairly decent amount of questions. Um, there were, some YouTubers asked loads of questions. So, I would say I received pretty much enough questions to answer. So um, this first set of questions came from Naffer Trevor forty three, and the first question he asked, "What was your first TWR item?" Well, I never started off with one item. I think I started off with four. Um, I think it was one year during Christmas. I received the Thomas Stop and Go Figure Eight set, which came with an old style Thomas, a Sodor fuel tanker, a Sodor length of boost. And then I also received the wooden railway hand car on that same day, I think. So yeah, I don't think I started off with one item. I believe I started off with four. So yeah, an old style Thomas, a solar link boost, a fuel tanker, and the hand car were the first four TWR items I ever owned. The next question from that for Trevor 43 is, who, what narrow gauge engine is your favorite? Well, my favorite narrow gauge engine would probably have to be Peter Sam. Um, I don't know if I can really explain how Peter Sam is my favorite. One thing I would guess I like about him is his, um, the fact that he has two words in his name. That may seem a little odd, but he's just one of the few engines that has two words in his name. Another one being Sir Handel, but, um, I just like Peter Sam a lot, and, um, He's probably my favorite narrow gauge engine, but Mighty Mac makes a close second and Rusty makes a close third. The next question from that for Trevor 43 is, favorite Thomas the Tank Engine season? I would probably have to say season 6 is my favorite season. It's just got so many great episodes. It introduces several new characters like um, Salty, Harvey, and... um. It, they just have such great episodes. One of them being Gordon and Takes a Tumble. That's one of my favorite episodes. But, um, yeah, I guess season, season six, hands down, is my favorite season. But I also like the um, season 17 of Thomas and Friends because it's just going in such a great direct because the series is going in such great direction now. But season six is probably my all time favorite. The next question from that for Trouble 43 is, do you watch Survivor, Amazing Race, or Big Brother? No, I don't watch those shows. Um, they're just not really anything that interests me. So, yeah, I don't really watch those shows. And then the final question from that for Trouble 43 is, why is your name CGI Ben? I was wondering if someone would ask that. Um... Well, let's see. In the season 12 episode, Gordon takes a shortcut. Um, Ben 
was seen in the lumber yard. I'm not sure if it's actually the lumber yard, but it was like a place where they were working with lumber. So, um, you would know that in season 12, they started using CGI animation, you know, with the moving mouths and the moving people. And I just liked seeing the characters get changed to CGI. And, um, in Gorna Takes, Takes a Shortcut, Ben appeared in CGI on his own. He Bill wasn't seen there. Ben was seen in CGI. You know, like a blinking and a face and a moving mouth. Alf and, um, the fact that I liked the CGI series so much is, well, I just like seeing the engines in CGI, and the fact that Ben is one of my favorite characters, the Ben and CGI just kind of stuck with me, and so CGI Ben was kind of, it's how that kind of inspired me to make my username. I hope that makes sense. If I have to just explain it again, I just liked seeing Ben in CGI, and that just kind of stuck with me. So, I hope that answers your questions, Never Trouble 43. Alright, the next three questions that I'm going to answer come from a YouTuber named Montague Duck 48 And the first question he asks, what is your favorite railway series story? I think my favorite railway series story is Cab Over Wheels. Wilbur tells Thomas and Toby a story about an engine named 16 who went past a danger sign on a track that had a weak embankment and 16 ended up falling off the track and rolling cab over wheels before and landing on his side on the ground below. I just seem to like that story a lot even though I don't own the book that has that story but um I guess that's my favorite very serious story. The next question he asks is who is your favorite narrow gate engine? That question was already answered, and it's Peter Sam. And then the third question he asks, Who is your favorite small railway engine? I would guess that Jock is my favorite small railway engine. Jock is a yellow tenor engine. Um, Jock is... I don't really know a whole lot about Jock because I don't own the book that has his story. But, um, Jock, I would guess, is just cocky and a little arrogant, but, um, he learns from his mistakes and stuff. So, yeah, I would say that Jock is my favorite railway, small railway engine. But, um, the fact that I like diesels a lot just makes, just brings up the fact that Frank, the diesel, makes a close second, but Jock is, comes in first as my favorite small railway engine. This next set of questions comes from Nightmare Studios. Number one, what do you plan to have on the Tux Fan 67 and CGI Ben channel? Well, I plan to upload my series on that channel as well as on this channel, CGI Ben. So yeah, that's probably just some st stuff I plan to have on that channel. We haven't, neither of us have made a video on that channel in several months, so. I just hope we can get that channel running, running again. The next question from Nightmare Studios. Have you heard about the WWII Thomas movie? If so, what are your thoughts? I've heard of it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually interested in it. And plus, um, it was in April of 2013, I think. Or it might have been 2014, but... It was just announced in some time, some year in April that um the movie might not come through, and if that does, and if that happens, I'd actually be okay with it. As well, I'm not sure if I'm actually interested in this video, in that movie. So yeah, it's just not something that actually sparks my interest. So yeah, the next question from Nightmare Studios is. Could you put a cast list on your channel? What he means by that is, well, I was originally planning to have voice actors in my series, and if I was still going to do it, I would put a cast list on my channel, but voice actors have been canceled because 
it would just be a lot of work and it would be very time consuming and I don't want to keep people waiting for my series longer. So I'm not using voice actors unfortunately, but even if I was, I would put a cast list on my channel. So I'm sorry. The next question is, when do you plan to have your series uploaded? I, I'm looking for a September release. Okay, so yeah, September. I'll just leave it at that. The next question is, what is your favorite Thomas the Tank Engine movie slash special? My favorite Thomas movie would actually be Blue Mountain Mystery. I thought it was a fantastic special. Um, I like the CGI flashbacks from Down the Mine, A Scar for Percy, and The Sad Story of Henry. I thought those were pretty interesting. I like Paxton's role in the movie because, well, I'll just get to Paxton in a minute. Um, this movie just has so much for me. It has betrayal, trust, friends, and foes. And it just has action and suspense. And it's just probably my favorite movie, surprisingly. So yes, Blue Mountain Mystery is my favorite movie. And I hope that answers your question. And then the last question from Nightmare Studios is, What is your favorite season of Tom's and Friends? I, that question was already answered, and it's season 6. Mostly because the episodes were just so great in that season. Season 5 also ties with season 6, but season 6 definitely just wins by a long shot.